How do we start? You telling me what I'm doing here? Well, I have a hard story for you to tell, Miss Bloom. No one who looks through that glass sees a person. They see a crime. I'm not David Gale. I'm a murderer four days shy of his execution. The murder's way too clumsy. This guy is a major intellectual, top of his Harvard class, two books published. It doesn't make sense. Three different courts found him guilty, Zach. There is a record of exactly what happened that afternoon. This is where the tripod was. They never found a video or anything. They wanted me to die knowing that the key to my freedom is out there somewhere. Someone's framing you? Oh, it's more than that. You know I'm innocent. No, I don't. Miss Bloom, I used to be the state's leading death penalty abolitionist, and now I'm on death row. Doesn't that strike you as a little odd? From Universal Pictures. We're going to call somebody. That tape could have been made by anybody with $20 and a tolerance for vulgarity. Will it get us a postponement? <laughs> Comes a story about how far people will go in the name of a cause. In the end, the damage is done. Now... One reporter. What if the murder was not only to get rid of Gale, but to make him look crazy? Has three days to unravel the mystery. It was Dusty. He had a motive. He knew you both. He visited that morning. Two days to discover the truth. Why make it look like a murder? Why frame an innocent man? And one day. Call everyone. The governor, the warden, New York, the damn Supreme Court death clerk. To change his fate. I'm running out of time. Life of David Gale.